Jack Scott Water Blues here. Uh, good to be back on my feet here. Um, I had a, a triple bypass surgery here a couple weeks ago, and I've been doing a little cooking as part of my therapy routine, you know, to get be up on my feet, moving around, and I always call it kitchen condition, you know, you're kind of moving around constantly and and all this, but uh, you know, I'm thankful to be have the surgery behind me and. Uh, had some great doctors, uh, Dr. V down at uh, uh, Yale New Haven Hospital, all the great nurses down there. Uh, they're taking really great care of me. Lakeisha, Lake nurse Lakeisha Lee, uh, has really been taking good care of me. And my uh, <clears throat> physical therapist nurse came by and she was so impressed, you know, with the progress that we're making that uh, she said I didn't need her services anymore. But, you know, uh, I just want to say one thing, you know, like, I always uh, was a snorer, and it kind of like, you know, I was kind of joked it off, like it was no big deal. But let me tell you something, that was the main reason uh, for the, my, my heart condition. The left side of, uh, was sleep apnea, it really affected the left side of my heart. And also, you know, you know, over the years, you know, the added weight and uh, probably, you know, my diet's always been pretty good. I don't, you know, eat, I don't drink soda, I don't. Uh, we're kind of watching things, but you know, in the past, you know, we late night, you know, fast some fast food and and all this. But uh, just trying to eat, uh, just try to cook a little bit healthier now. But uh, <clears throat> out of tribute to my aunt, uh, my aunt Ann, Polish, and uh, one of my favorite dishes from her was her stuffed cabbage. And uh, and uh, Aunt Ann Ingraham, you know, it's uh, Laura. Laura is my cousin. She's a famous Washington uh, political commentar co commentary and uh, TV show that she has. And uh, so this is out of Aunt Ann. You know, Aunt Ann would come to this, our, our, our summer parties and things, and she'd bring her galunkies. And uh, we always joke because she'd just bring enough for like one per person. She was a very frugal person. And I, I always respected that. But... Uh, so here we're going to start off with the cabbage. Now be careful when you're cutting, cutting the core out of the cabbage because I had the worst cut one time. Just the, the knife slipped. So just uh, what I do is I go, I always keep you, turn the cabbage itself. Don't, don't try to turn the knife. Okay. So that comes out nicely. So then, uh, so it has a pour, the boiling pot of water, uh, actually just steam, I'm you know, basically going to steam the, head, the, the, the heads off. Be careful when you drop it down. And uh, so then what I'll do there, just to steam the leaves off. I've got a, I've got a blend of rice, uh, brown rice and some wild rice. And uh, So I had the boiling water, so I'm just going to cover this. I'm going to par cook this rice, probably halfway, and uh, get that going on the back of the stove. We have our cabbage steaming away. So out of my, we're going to make the uh, the stuffing. It's good. A lot of vegetables. I'm going to put a lot of vegetables in the stuffing. And uh, so um, I'm going to put an onion and I have turkey, that's a nice ground turkey. But I want to you know, heavy on the vegetables and you know, kind of see what's left here, you know, the end of the summer, uh, we had some, some stuff out of our garden. Put some 
some onion. Axel wanting to play. Is that it, boy? Okay, we got a little bit of pepper that one of the few peppers that we got out of the garden. Always good to use stuff that you've grown. It kind of, this makes you feel good. Okay. A little bit of a red, red onion. Save it for the stock pot if you can. All right, I gotta check this peppers. Harley gave me some of these peppers. Some are wicked sweet and some are hot. That's a sweet one. A little bit of heat, very little heat. Okay, the celery. What's up, buddy? Take a seat. You're a good boy. I missed I missed Axel terribly when I was in the hospital. So good to see him when I got back. So, uh, beautiful squash. I love this, the green and the yellow. That's from Huntsbrook Farms. all of it. Put that in our pan. Okay. Use a little bit of red and uh, a yellow diced uh, pepper, bell pepper. Really little baby peppers in there. I'm gonna use them too. Okay. Of course, gotta use a little bit of garlic. Our ground turkey, and uh, we'll be right back. Cooking with the blues. Let's check her out now. I love this part where the, where the leaves come off. Okay, pull the leaves off. See where the where it's connected. It'll come off nice and easy. Okay. Then we go just a little bit longer. So 
my rice that my rice is like probably half cooked so I'm gonna do is strain it I like, I like the rice when it expands you know so I mix it with my veg kind of just kind of blanch off my veg a little bit with the raw veg cold veg will cool the rice down a little bit I'm going to season this up a little bit here. Not too much salt. A little bit of my Ajax blackened seasoning. A little extra garlic powder. So I took the meat out of there. Just I'm going to I didn't want to pre-cook the meat at all, so I'm just going to set this off to the side, finish cooking our cabbage, and we'll be right back. This is it on the, on the cauliflower, I mean the, uh, the cabbage, steamed cabbage, the leaves are getting kind of small, so uh, I'm going to pull that head out, shut this bad boy off. Hey, right, so... Uh, in the refrigerator, that's a nice flat leaf, Italian flat leaf parsley. That's always good in filling stuffings. Can't beat it. And uh, so we're going to crack a couple of eggs. out for the shells and uh, a little bit of heavy cream you know if you want to make it a tiny little Italian style you know you could always add a little bit of uh, Parmesan in there, but you know, make it your own. What do we want to put in there? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, my marinara sauce in the filling, the ground turkey. So, you know, we got to season this up. Black pepper. Some salt. For the beet, you know, for the turkey. And that's it. We'll just mix it up real good. Just going to finish mixing this and we'll be right back. smell it you know what I threw the egg and I threw the leftover cream of the egg away I know you're counting on it but we'll, we'll, we'll get you paid back later see okay so now we open this up. a lot of people cut this piece off here it kind of sticks up you know I just push it down because I love that core to me the core has got so much flavor you know the core has got so much nice flavor so, what I'll do, put some on there, roll it, tuck it in, and then I put it in the bottom of my uh, cruising A uh, pot that my sister gave me. I just have a little bit of tomato, leftover tomato sauce, just a little bit of water I put in the bottom, and uh, Uh, just mass production. Tuck it in real good. Right. Your little assembly line going. 
a nice family get together. You know, your family gets together and does it. These freeze real good too, so you know, you make plenty. Now the one of the one of the biggest part components is the sauce that's gonna go over the top. So a little little pepperoncini vinegar, a little bit of ketchup. That's got a little, you know, nice little flavoring in it. And uh, some of my homemade marinara sauce. And then I had uh, I had some of my veal stock in the bottom there. I forgot to tell you, it's a real nice concentrated veal stock. Put a little bit of honey. Stonewall Acres Farms here, Canterbury. A little sweet, a little sour. So I'm gonna put that on the back burner. Bring that up to a nice simmer. And I'll show you how we're gonna fix these here. Just put a little more flavor and. While we got everything in the oven, put a couple of these nice, uh, how are we going to put that in there? Okay. Okay. Some pepperoncinis. Why not? Put them all in there. Okay. Pepperoncini. And my aunt I always put raisins, golden raisins, or got some craisins. Okay. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll put the leaves over the top. Come on and look. Okay, let's cover that up. Okay. Let's cover everything up nice so it steams, helps keep the steam in. Okay. Bring that to a nice simmer. That goes over the top. We're gonna to cover, I'm gonna preheat my oven. I already have this burner on low from the bottom just to get that underneath warm. Not really seriously cooking. But we're gonna get our oven on. We're gonna go nice about three, 325. Preheat that oven, bring this up to a simmer. We'll be right back. Hey guys, cooking with the blues. <laughs> Right, just take a little little siesta, not a siesta. Come here, Axel. Come here. Sit down now. Sit down. Sit. Taking a little break here, you know, between a lull in the action, as they say. But uh, Axel's got to go in for a little surgery too. He's got boxers are known to have what? Some kind of is it growth or like uh, yeah, like polyps. Polyps, you know. He's got one on his gums. Yeah. So he's gonna be going under the knife too, just like. Just like his dad here, <laughs> uh, but you're a good boy. Sit down now. And uh, but yeah, this brings back so many memories of my aunt, my aunt Anne. You know, doing you know making guamkis and and uh, you know also trying to eat a little healthier. You know, turkey instead. But you know, it's still it's not wrong with a little ground pork, ground veal. You want to put sausage in your stuffed cabbage, uh, wild game. You know, it's all good. Got my nice sauce boiling. One thing I forgot, a little garlic. 
Okay, that smells so good. So put you know, a nice amount of garlic in there. But see, you know, instead of adding water, you're not adding any flavor into the dish. So add a little chicken, chicken broth or, uh, you know, like I said here, make this nice sauce. Let's take this, like a little taste here. Oh, that's nice. So that's gonna go right over the top. So you know that rice that's half cooked is gonna soak up a bunch. And then uh, instead of using this in my soup, I'm gonna put that right on the top. A little bit of a uh, squash left over. You know, take a little, little decorative, you know, when you lift that lid when it's all said and done. Set it on the table. So that's it right there. I'm gonna pop that in a 350 degree oven. I didn't bring it up to a simmer because I don't want to cook it from the bottom up anymore. And uh, so in she goes. I'm saying about an hour and a half. All right, you know, you know when something's ready, you can, I can smell it when it's ready. Come on in and look at this when I lift the cover off. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, so we'll lift this off here. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to finish this off. Okay. There's one. There's two. What I'm going to do is, uh, just you got all that flavor in the sauce. So I'm going to just cook it down a little bit. I'm going to put a, uh, put a roasted pepper on it. It'll be a yellow. And then just finish it off with a little butter. Just kind of tighten that sauce up a little bit. Not too much butter. Alrighty, right. A little posse on the plate. Smells so good. You can always thicken it up a little bit too if you wanted to. But as that sets, as that sets up, oh, that cabbage is going to suck, suck some of that moisture back in. Want the right viscosity in all the sauce. It'll concentrate the flavor down real nice. All right, let's try her out. We'll be right back. Gonna set up at the table. Alrighty, let's give it a shot here. See what it looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Been years since I had a, a stuffed cabbage. Mmm. Love it with that wild rice. Not as meaty, you know, you can add less veg, more meat. Mm. 
that red pepper. If I had stuffing left, it would have been nice. To maybe stuff up some peppers with the cabbage. Mm. That's got a great flavor. The peppers cooked with the sauce. One more bite, Lakeisha. Mm -hmm. These reheat well during the week. You have, you know, something for your lunch the next day. And, uh, but just a, a great, great fall, winter, winter type of dish, comfort. And uh, the whole, the whole house smells beautifully. But uh, this is Daddy Jack's going with the blues. Good to be back. And uh, everybody stay safe, try to stay healthy. Love y'all, peace. <laughs>